Welcome back to my channel. Right now, I'm in the kitchen. My mom is cooking something. It smells really delicious. Mommy, what are you cooking? I'm making borscht. I love borscht so much. It's a Ukrainian stew. Guys, if you've never tried it, you need to try it. I'm Ukrainian, so I love it so much. It's one of our favorite foods. We have it almost every week. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to eat it. Anyways, guys, today I'm here to talk about my violin. I don't know if you noticed, but in the background, I have two violins. I'm testing different violins right now because I'm looking for a professional violin that will serve me well in my classical journey because I play classical music. But I wanted to show you the violin I found currently. I'm playing on It's this gorgeous violin. And you might think it's old, but it's not. It's actually brand new, handmade by a violin maker. Um, Eric Benny and I really like the sound, you know It's very deep and it's definitely a lot better than my violin that I currently have which I use for pop songs street performing um, My violin It's right here it costs about three thousand and this is what I currently have but I'm looking for a new one I think this is one cost even more right now because you played a lot and also we bought this uh, three years ago yeah, you know guys that violins, yeah. they rise in price uh, depending on who played and how much time passed, they can rise in price. And who is the maker? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Who's the violin maker? So I wanted to play you a little bit on this violin and see what you think. Please comment down below if you like this violin or not because I'm deciding. I need, I need advice. <laughs> What piece is this? Um, this is a part of a piece called Sigourney Weizen by Sarasate and it's a show piece. It's supposed to be like very impressive and showy off, like you're trying to show that you're really good at playing violin and you're cool. Uh, it sure does sound like that. <laughs> yeah, it's like very flary. You have a lot of flair playing wow. this piece. And it's also pretty technical. Who wrote this? Sarasate, poser. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Spanish piece. Not only do I like the sound in this violin, I also like how it's designed. It does not look like new. It looks like old, an old violin. And Eric Benning made this on purpose so that it looked old. I really like the how he crafted like each little dent and like mark and yeah, it, it looks really cool. Let me see. It's really pretty. Wow. Yeah. Do you it like it? It does look like it's a little bit worn out, right? Yeah. So you can think that it's it was old. made like in long, long 1800s ago. and someone mm -hmm. really good violence played <laughs> I think with the years, it's gonna be sound much better. Yeah, actually that's also true. Violence starts sounding better if you play on them with the years, you know? Amazing, amazing. I like it, I like it. Me too. I need a better violin than I have right now because yeah. that is currently not working for classical music as well as it should be, you know. Also, the violin, it could be expensive, but it might not sound well. You have to not only judge by the price, but also by the sound, like choose a violin. I had a violin for $100 when I was a beginner. It sounded very plastic sounding, but I started off on that and... How old you were? I was six. So guys, don't invest in an expensive, really, really, really good violin when you're just starting off. You have to find out and understand that it's yours, like you really love it and get better. And then once your level gets really good and you actually stick with it, then you can invest in a better instrument. Yeah. But don't invest right away. It's, you, you, you don't do that. So, How much is this violin? This violin is 36. 36, yeah, wow. 
Yeah. Yeah, it sounds amazing. Amazing. When I first started playing this violin that I currently have classical music on it, I was pretty satisfied with it. Like it sounded good. It was easy to play on. But when my level started growing and I started trying other violins that are more expensive, more better, that are just sounding a lot better, I was blown away by how like easier it was to play on them and how better I was sounding. And then when I went back to my violin, I was like, what on earth? Like this isn't the earth and this is heaven. Like the sound between the violins, because you don't feel the difference when you're playing on your violin. Um, in comparison when you try other ones. So it's really important to try other ones as well so you could level up and get better. And when I was playing with the orchestra, I was playing on a Carl Becker violin and my teacher owns it. Um, so he was so generous and kind to give it to me um, for my performance and for practicing on it before the performance and after. Because you know, you have to get used to the instrument a little bit. So. Thank you so much, Mr. Sam Fisher. I'm really grateful. It was so kind of you. Violin sounded amazing. It was so awesome to play on it with the orchestra. Like, it was heaven. That violin sounds so, so good. Really enjoyed playing on it. I hope that I, I'll be able to find a good violin soon because I really need one. May you play something? I just started learning a new piece, Winter Vivaldi, and I wanted to play you a little piece from it. Maybe you'll play it together one day. Yeah, I really want to, but I haven't looked at the piano part, like how difficult it is and how long it will take me to. It would be fun. Yeah, it would be really fun if we could play it together. Great. We could like go to an airport and play. Yay! <laughs> My violin princess. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment down below if you like this violin because I need some advice. Should I take it? Should I not take it? Should I look for some more violins? Because I need a new violin. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video.